Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about bank rules. Not how do you go to the top and how do you make a bank rule, but sometimes when you're working on getting your bookkeeping caught up or just doing it, you, you'll get a pop-up that appears on your screen offering to make a bank rule, and that's what I want to talk about. So I'm working on catching up my records. Over here, this is my snowplow guy. So I'm going to go ahead and select the name. It pre-fills last minute snow plowing. Um, and then I'm going to select my expense account. There's two entries for my snowplow guy. So this one is the one from January 10th. I'm going to click add on the right hand side. Everything is going to happen just like normal. When I get to the next one, the text on the right turns green. That means that QuickBooks is predicting what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I can verify my vendor is correct. My expense account is correct. And I'll select add on the right hand side of my screen. What you see on the screen is QuickBooks suggesting a bank roll. Now I had to run through quite a few of these to get this to pop up because it's inconsistent when it happens. When I'm not recording, it happens the second time I add my snowplow guy. When I'm recording, it happens the fourth time and then I have to ask the editor to stitch out all my grumbling. But here we are. It says, do you want to use the same category for all expenses for this? And I, I yep, 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 use the same category. And so then do you want to automatically confirm the transaction this applies to? This is a big deal. I really want you to turn this off. What this is, is the auto add rule. Let me hover over it. It says if selected, this will automatically confirm all transactions and all future transactions. Again, the word confirm, it's auto add. What that means is that if this thing is turned on, QuickBooks will automatically add this to your register without ever stopping to ask you, without ever giving you a chance to review it. That's totally fine until it's not. A fair number of my phone calls where people say my QuickBooks balance doesn't match my bank balance is the result of having this thing turned on. So I'm going to turn it off. It says confirm who you want to have pay. I want to say last minute snowplow, totally correct, create rule. I'm happy with it creating the rule. I'm not happy if it wants to auto add. If you want to know if you have any auto add rules set up, you just go to the top of your screen and click on rules. You'll then see a list of your rules over to the right. If auto add is set up, you'll see a green plus with a box around it. I'm going to click on edit. I'll go to the, uh, hold on. Let's just take a moment here. It didn't add last minute snowplow. I'm going to go back and watch this video, but I'm pretty sure I told it to put in last minute snowplow. This is the auto add. So if I click on save, there's the box that says auto add. If I click on edit, I can turn off the auto add. If I don't already have videos explaining why I dislike auto add, I'll add it to the rotation. But for now, I'm just going to tell you auto add is the, um, probably the most common way that people get their accounts messed up right next to doubling up their income. So that's it. I just wanted to show you when that pop up appears, what it's doing, what it's asking you. And then I guess we get to discover together that it didn't put in the payee name like we expected. So I'm kind of glad that it came in here and checked. If you get stumped on anything, if you need help with QuickBooks, let me know. You can leave a comment down below or you can book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. If you would prefer to learn on your own schedule, I have courses. If you'd prefer not to do your bookkeeping, myself and Megan have capacity to help clients with their bookkeeping. If we're not the right fit, just let us know what you're looking for and we'll introduce you to someone. Thanks and have a great day.